Hey guys, Tropic Grow here. So basically today we're going to be doing a new greenhouse tour. Uh, we're going to be walking around looking at all the ponds, looking at the propagation station, all the carnivorous seeds that have going, and basically everything else going on inside of the main greenhouse. We're also going to be looking at the turtles and the tortoises, the goldfish and my monster fish. So we're going to be starting over here on the side of the greenhouse where my tiered uh, collection plant stand is. And this is where most of my collection plants are at the moment. Um, it's just a nice way to present them and for me to take care of them properly. The first plant we're looking at here is an Alocasia heteromophila. It's one of my newer plants that I recently got in my last plant haul video. Uh, right next to it right here we have a Syngonium. I forgot the very specific variety of Syngonium. I have a super pink Syngonium right next to it as well. I have a couple of these guys. And I believe this is an Ethereum uh, Crystallinum. Uh, it's a little baby. It's either that or Magnificum. Sometimes I get them confused when they're smaller. And I have not labeled it. Uh, right next to it is a Coleus. I absolutely love Coleuses because of the different types of colors you can find in them. Um, down here is another type of Anthurium. I've had this one since it was tiny. I don't remember what species it is. Um, it was gifted to me at the same time I got a bunch of one lingeri. Uh, here's another Anthurium I actually got from that same guy. I believe this is a Dissidians. Uh, not positive though. I haven't really tried identifying these guys. And then right next to it, I do have a Philodendron Congo, I believe. Uh, we're just gonna go over first and then, oh, look at this. Found, found one of the little pests, it's been giving me trouble here. Little wormy boy. So right next to it, we have a Caladium Angel Wings. I had misidentified this guy as a type of Syngonium last video, but I have uh, re-identified it as a species of Caladium. And then this plant I was super excited about when I bought as well, which is a Epipremnum Amplicimum Silver, I believe. I have a yellow philodendron here as well. I actually just lopped this guy in half and took a bunch of props out of this plant. And then this guy right here is a Winlingeri. It is one of the many I have around the greenhouse at the moment. Um, again, I got this guy with a bunch of the other seedlings at the same time. And then right here we have a Mickey Mouse Colocasia. As you can see, obviously it is called that because of the shape of the leaves. It is, I believe, a mutation from the normal Colocasia. But this is what it looks like when it's a baby. This is an absolute beautiful plant right there. And then right above it we've got this nice Caladium. It has some camel pattern on it which uh, varies from very lightish greenish yellow to more almost a white and then right behind here we have an alocasia amazonica which is one of my favorite types of alocasias and then right here we have another angel wings right here we have a monstera deliciosa uh, this guy we have a love-hate relationship um, for the longest time there was not doing very well and then I don't know it just kind of started loving me again I think it was because I started turning on the fan this is the first of my larger anthuriums it is anthurium crystal hope I started putting cocoa chips in as toppers for my anthuriums and then next I have an anthurium uh, crystallinum right here uh, this guy is pretty large I've had this guy for a long time and he's actually about ready to split he has it looks like um, its own root system right next to it. Next we have a little Magnificum right here. I got this guy at the same time as that um, little Crystallum on the other side. Uh, here is my Alocasia Cupria. It is also one of my favorite plants in the greenhouse. This guy has just always really grown for me really well. Um, my next plant I want to get is actually Silver Dragon. Uh, next is my Green Dragon. This guy has been giving me issues lately. I really don't know what it is. I have fixed up the soil several times now. Um, I really don't know what it is. It's just been quite droopy on me. 
Uh, here I have another type of coleus. Here's my philodendron florida, which is one of my newer plants I recently got on my plant haul. And it has really become one of my favorite plants with that leaf shape because I haven't really had any species that grow leaves like this before and it's just so dramatic and when they're coming out as young leaves they're just extremely pretty as well. So now starting with the top tier here is a Scandapsis pictus and this guy basically just lets start growing throughout the system. It's rooting in all the different pots. Right here we have a Syngonium mojito. I have a couple of these guys around as well. And then right here I have a variegated Syngonium, which is the same as the last greenhouse tour. And I kind of chopped it into pieces to make it grow thicker on that cocoa fiber pole. And then right below that is my variegated Costas. Uh, this guy I actually didn't know what it was when I initially bought it. And then I did a little bit more research and it was a variegated Costas. And right next to that is my new Alocasia Bambino. This guy is still pretty small. I think they stay relatively small. And then right here I have, I believe, this is a Dissidians. Again, I'll put the label up to make sure I identify this guy correctly. I have no idea what this guy is. I just thought he looked cool and I put him up here. Uh, this is one of my favorite new plants that I have in the greenhouse, which is a philodendron gloriosum pink back. Uh, here's a mature leaf. This is a mature leaf and as you can see the backside is completely pink and then this is a new leaf that just grew and that pink on this guy is just amazing as well. Uh, here's another Syngonium mojito and then right here I have a philodendron I believe brand Shannon. I will again put the IDs up. And next is my largest anthurium, which I'm not sure if it's a regale or not. I used to think it was. Um, but after talking to some people, because I had some doubts because of the, the veins on the leaves, I thought it might be a Magnificum, but then it didn't really look like a Magnificum either. So we were thinking maybe like a Magnificum cross, possibly. And then right below this guy, we have a couple of Anthurium Clarinerviums. Um, I just got two of these guys. I bought two by accident because uh, I forgot I actually had one at home. And then also on this top two here is my Iacma uh, Shantini, which is a type of Romeliad. Last but not least up here, I have my Silver Sword Philodendron, which I've had since basically the beginning of my collection as well. So we look at this Monstera Adonasinex. Uh, it's up this cocoa fire pole, which is almost six feet tall. And I've been slowly just training it up there. And then here's my most problem child in the greenhouse, which is my Philodendron Varicosum, which absolutely just hates me. This is one of my favorite plants I have, which is my Anthurium Malingeri, my largest one. And this guy actually started as the same size as those other ones we've seen. It just had a massive growth boost compared to them. And then over here is my split leaf philodendron, which takes up an entire corner of my greenhouse. It covers both lower and upper ponds of the Paku and Snapping Turtle. Uh, in this pond, which is the upper pond, which is around, I believe like 700 gallons, is where my two red belly Paku are. Um, you can see one right there. Uh, next is this lower pond, which is probably around 300 gallons. So this is my snapping turtle, Hatiyo. He's a very chunky boy now, as you can see. Uh, I moved him in here where the goldfish used to be, so he could have a much more realistic habitat. Uh, he's got a pay, he's got natural logs, he's got this amazing split leaf philodendron that comes all the way down into his enclosure. Mm -hmm. 
Next, here is my massive variegated, um, I believe it's Colocasia. Uh, it's an elephant ear, it's a variegated elephant ear. And it's one of my favorite plants just because of how big it grows and because of the amount of variegation it actually gets. Over here we have another Alicatria Amazonica. Uh, I believe this is a Black Prince philodendron. Down here we have a little Caladium. I believe this is a White Queen Caladium. I have a couple of these guys in the greenhouse now as well. I'm not positive what they are. I had identified it as an Anthurium uh, Bomboy Science. Um, but then I was thinking it might be a type of philodendron, like a philodendron uh, Sharonai. Uh, but I'll put the idea up as well. I need to do a little more research on the differences. Here we have another one of those plants. Again, we'll, I will put the ID up. And then right next to it, we have a longhiloba, which is a new plant as well. Also in this section, we have a uh, Silver King Aglonema commutatum, which I think is a beautiful plant. And then I also got this guy from a different seller, which is a Anthurium Magnificum, but a little baby. And I actually cut off a bunch of the leaves that came with this guy as well, because they were all torn up and uh, kind of infested. And I hate to see that in my greenhouse. Uh, so this is a brand new leaf. And up here is basically a station where I potted up all of my props that were ready to go out. So I got some green shields, Alocasia Amazonica, some palms, uh, variegated elephant ears, uh, Hoya Carnosas, Crimson Queens, and some Monstera Adon Sun Eyes up here. And over here, smack in the middle of the desert section, I have a jade plant. And I've got a couple of these palms, one of which was gifted to me by the same guy who gave me a bunch of those Anthurium seedlings. And then, of course, we have our two pomegranate trees in here. Uh, these guys need some help as well. I might actually be taking them out of the greenhouse, uh, but it does get way too rainy outside the greenhouse. And then I also have this hanging bromeliad right here. It flowers are really bright pink. Um, it hadn't flowered for a really long time, so I moved it over here where there's more sun. And it's been getting some explosive growth recently, and I'm just waiting for that flower to come out. So here we are inside my tortoise enclosure. These are my two Sulcata tortoises, also known as African Spur tortoises, uh, Eleanor and Antoinette. Now these guys just eat a ton of hibiscus, that's one of their staples. Um, sweet potato leaves, they get kale, they get some fruits, uh, they get cactus pads. Uh, basically, they get a little bit of everything. They really like pumpkins as well. Here I have a Hoya Carnosa, which basically spans all over my greenhouse, as you can see. It just kind of grows and grows and keeps growing. So now we're in the other side of the greenhouse where all my carnivorous plants here. Uh, this plant here is a Rebecca Sopper, Nepenthes Rebecca Sopper. It doesn't have any pictures at the moment. Uh, it is growing some out. Next here, we have a Nepenthes Rappelsiana by Black Spotted. Um, this guy has one little picture. It's one of my smallest carnivorous plants at the moment. This is my Nepenthes Brigziana right next to it, which is currently producing pictures as well. Uh, it has a couple smaller ones, but nothing to brag about. Uh, and then right here is my White Rappelsiana, which is the Nepenthes that has been struggling the most for me. I have no idea why. And then right next to that is one of my largest Nepenthes, which is one of the first two I ever got, my Nepenthes Gaia. And this guy has just been growing a ton, as you can see. And then right next to him, I have my Nepenthes Ventricosa, which was my largest species of Nepenthes that was going to be in the greenhouse. Uh, but I recently got a couple larger ones. If you guys haven't checked out that unboxing video or the video I did with Josh's carnivorous fans, so you guys should definitely check it out. Next I have my Nepenthes globosa, which I actually just propagated. I cut off the entire top part of this plant and put in a prop bin. And then right here I have my Nepenthes hookeriana, and this guy just has amazing colors on him. Um, definitely became one of my favorite Nepenthes real quick because of that pattern. And then this is one of my newest Nepenthes and one of my largest species in here, which is 
which is actually Nepenthes Maxima. Uh, literally out of the box in the unboxing vid, this guy was already larger than every pitcher I had in the greenhouse. So I'm super excited to see this guy grow more. Next we have a uh, Nepenthes Gandulfera by Bechiai, which is supposed to also be a very large uh, Nepenthes species. So uh, I'm really excited to see this guy grow as well. And then in here we have a Gracilis Red by Ampularia Black Miracle. Uh, this is also one of my oldest Nepenthes I've had. Uh, he's been getting amazing growth as well. And then right next to it we have the Nepenthes Bloody Mary, which is also one of the first two Nepenthes I ever bought. And this guy is just enormous as well. And then the last of my adult Nepenthes that I have is this uh, Ventricosa by Sibuyensis. And it's still quite small. Uh, it's one of my smaller plants at the moment. Up here with the carnivorous plants, I also have this trunk that just has a variety of orchids on it that I actually collected in the jungle myself. Um, but yeah, this guy I actually moved over from where all the peppers are at the moment. Uh, this is a type of orchid as well, which I believe was also collected in the wild. Um, along with all these, these are all species of orchids. Uh, mostly dendrodiums, I believe. This is a species of orchid called Juvia Oro. I will put the scientific name up as well. And then this is my new fern, which is a blue oil fern. And it just shimmers. It is, it's amazing, like the, the colors this plant has. Uh, right next to it, this is a baccarai. This is actually the one I took all the seeds out that I have in the prop bin now with all those seedlings. Um, I have a couple orchids up here as well. And I have this Anthurium lingeri, which is the Caribbean version, not the normal version. I have my Caledon White Christmas here as well. It was over with other collection plants, but I was having a hard time. Down here, there's a little Caladium. All those are Anthurium lingeri, uh, Anthurium lingeri, and then there's some Anthurium bakery, which I actually got a ton of seeds for and propagated here myself. And here are all my carnivorous plant seeds that I got from my first two orders from Josh's Carnivorous Plants and House of Hungry Plants, which is located in Singapore. These are my two largest at the moment, which are Viking by Raffle Sienna. And then these, the parent plants, were a Viking by Kuchigensis by Viking Hookeriana Black Miracle. In this tub as well, I have a ton of Anthurium Baccarai. All those little seedlings are Anthurium Baccarai. But I also have a couple of Nepenthes seedlings in here. I actually propagated for my last order. And this is, um, and this is an LVB by Bechiai, uh KM. And I have a couple of those. And then I also have this in here, which is an LVB by Adnanani. In here I have some of my newer plants, like this variegated Monstera adenosi. Uh, it was getting eaten by worms where I had it located over the collection plants, so I brought it over here to keep a better eye on it. I have a couple angel wings in here as well. And I also have my Pingacula SP Guatemala in here. I have my Tricolor Pictus. I also have my brand new Allocation Mellow over here, which actually came up kind of beat up in uh, the box, so I lopped off most of the old leaves and has some new growth coming in as well. I have my Colocasia esculenta in here as well, which is the one I get all the little babies from. And I also have this Philodendron Birkin over here, which was in kind of a rough shape when I brought it as well. Uh, now we're going to just work our way around the floor of this side of the greenhouse. Um, as you can see, there's a Rex, Begonia Rex, I believe. Um, over here, we're gonna move over to this, um, I believe it's called an asparagus fern. Um, over here, we have some Sansevieras. We got a couple of dwarf Sansevieras. And then we got a couple of Sansevieras moonshines as well. Uh, down here, we have a Fetonia. I've just had this guy forever in this greenhouse. I just uh, took a prop at one point and put him in here. Over here we have a variegated marantha. 
Uh, this guy I was super excited about as well. I just love everything that's variegated. This begonia is actually flowering at the moment. I post a picture of this on Instagram. If you guys don't follow already, I post a lot more frequently there. And then right here, I have a variegated peperomia. I actually don't have that many peperomias in my collection. This is one of, I believe, two I have. And then over here, it's just a bunch of calatheas from my last plant haul that I have. I actually only had like two calatheas before that plant haul and I have a ton. Um, so yeah, here's just a variety of calatheas that I have. Uh, there's some ornata, marantha, and a few others in there. This is my mamey. As you can see at the moment, it has one new leaf. This plant has been, along with that varicosum, the second most troublesome plant I've ever kept. It just hates me. I really do not know why. Over here is the other propagation area. All the pots that have no leaves is because of those very infuriating crickets and worms that have been coming into my greenhouse recently. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of coleuses, green shields. All those are pothos that don't have any leaves anymore. Uh, caladiums, satin pothos, variegated syngoniums. Uh, variegated elephant ears and then over here is a little bit of the same uh, there's also a uh, Sigonium super pink and a couple snake plants and I believe this is a type of peace lily as well as this one this one actually has a flower at the moment uh, in Spanish it's called the cala and then in here where the snapping turtle used to be I have my Two yellow-eared sliders now. These guys are rescues. Someone brought them to me because they were having some shell problems and were being kept in a fish tank uh, that was way too small for them. Uh, over here in this area of the greenhouse, I also have a ton of uh, seedlings and seed trays. All of these are hot peppers. Uh, Butrilakia, chocolate, and the normal variety, and a little bit of everything in here. I also have some baby trees, which is part of a reforestation project I'm doing with native species on the property. So all my goldfish are now in this very large tub over here, which is around 300, 350 gallons. Uh, I have quite a few new goldfish as well. But yeah, these guys are super colorful, super chubby. Got some ranchus, Rio Kin. Aranda and a couple of moors in here. So in here I have my other monster fish. You can't see very well from up here, but I'll put in some footage. But there's my silver arowana right there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, which is at Tropic Grow. We post our a lot more frequently basically daily updates of what we're doing here on the permaculture farm in the greenhouse and basically all the products that are going on um please let me know down below if there's anything that i might have gone wrong with the id or anything you want to see in the future and i'll see you guys next time